Well, welcome to Keeley Guitars. I thought I would do a YouTube video, my first. Give you a quick tour of the shop. Show you what's on the bench today. So when you come in the shop, it's quite small actually, 14 by 20. But here, to the right, we have my tool chests with tools and parts, supplies. Above the tool chests we have some guitar bodies and necks waiting to be assembled. Over here is my workbench. And you can see I got a few bodies on the bench. We've got a bass guitar, an electric guitar, and two acoustic guitar bodies waiting to be put together. Some of my hand tools that I use, lots of hand planes, chisels, scrapers, knives, spoke shaves. Get you close in on some of this wood that we're working with. That base will be a, made of alder, and that's figured maple, and then these two acoustics. One is Sitka spruce top, the other is Engelman spruce, and then the backs and sides are made of koa wood. Show you what that looks like. Here's my glue pot for hide glue, soldering iron for doing repairs to electronic electric guitars, strobe tuner, amplifier, wire, my little reference library. And then here we have my supply of tone wood. Up here we have spruce, both Sitka and Engelman, uh, brace wood, and then these longer pieces are going to be sides for acoustic guitars. We've got figured maple and figured walnut. And then these are all going to be backs and tops for electrics or backs for acoustics. Mostly uh, figured walnut and figured maple, curly and quilted. Some more tools. show you what's on this bench here. We've got, this is figured maple. This will be for an acoustic guitar. And there's the top. That is Engelman spruce. And these are Irish bazookies. These are the molds that I use. I bend the sides and put the sides in these molds to keep their shape. And then we put kerfing around the perimeter and it's held in place with these closed pins while the glue is drying. That is my bending machine. I use hot silicone blankets to heat the wood and bend it inside. And then I have forms down here. I've got all different kinds of forms. For different shapes, different size guitars. But here we have, these are backs and tops for Irish bazookies. These are all koa. And then I've got six Irish bazooki necks waiting for assembly. Lots of tuners back there. Here we got a fretboard for the bazooki. Lots of fretboards up here. And back there are my molds and patterns. These are mandolin tops and backs that are roughed out. 
sandpaper, drill bits. Here's some more Irish bazooki bodies waiting for the backs and tops to be glued on. This is a go-bar deck. This is what I use to clamp braces. And that is a back for Irish bazooki. That one is particular. Let's see. That one is made of walnut. And that'll go for the walnut body up here. And we have some more tools. Drill press, grinders, thickness sander, bandsaw, more wood, lots of wood. And that wood is waiting to be cut down into sides and necks for guitars. Let's see. Got a vise, router table, some more repairs. There's my buffing wheels. And then I have supplies there in the cabinets. Uh, more tools underneath the workbench, more wood. Uh, joiners, planers, scroll saws. Lots of wood. Lots of wood. Here's Spruce billets for uh, mandolins and violins underneath the bench. Give you a good shot of the bench there. And we come around. Back here is my spray booth. Let's take a peek in there. And we have a guitar waiting to be sprayed. Exhaust fan, spray guns, my little mixing table, my lacquers and thinners. I keep my buffing wheels down there. Lots of paper towels. And this contraption here, <laughs> that is the early wine neck jig. I use that to do fret jobs on guitars once they come in for setups or after the build is done. So there you have it, Keeley Guitars. It's Monday morning, what's on the bench? We'll see you next week. Thanks.